please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for your love and support. This is firstly to highlight the neckline. We need to mark the neckline first. Then on that neckline, we have to give the normal chain stitch using this normal stitching needle. I'd be elaborating step by step so that it will make your work easy to do. And this is how firstly we have to give the chain stitch. But if you know working with an RE needle, use the RE needle and keep the RE chain stitch here. And this designing is so simple that you can try this on already stitched blouses also. So this is how we have to give the normal chain stitch and next besides this I will be using the chain ball lace of two different sizes you can clearly see here small and a little bigger than that one so applying the glue lines one after another to stick the chain ball lace again besides this I will be sticking chain stone lace do it step by step so that it will not leave the glue stains which will look very odd here. So the second line would be the small size of chain ball lace. Next to this I would be sticking the stone lace again with the two different sizes of chain ball lace. So here five lines with the glue. The materials I am going to use for this designing is easily available in the fancy or the tailoring material shops or the links also provided in the description box for your convenience. And this would be the last line which is of big size of chain ball lace I would be sticking on this. And next to this I will give again the normal chain stitch here. This is how it looks once completed. This would be the broader one for the designing of the neckline. Next I will be using honey color kundans of drop shape also the leaf shape. And apply the glue lines like this. Three lines leaving a little gap in between. The center one I'll be sticking the leaf shape kundan and uh, underneath this two lines with the drop shape kundan. And now on these two lines I'll be sticking the drop shape kundans like this. We'll be using gold color zardusi of small size holding it firmly we need to give the overall bordering for these kundans so firmly hold it and give couple of stitches on it Ensure to maintain the continuity with and concentrate on the perfection of these shapes, the leaf shape and the drop shape.
and here I'll end so I'll be cutting here once the stitching is done this is how it looks now I'll be giving an invisible stitch on the complete neckline holding all together I'll be giving an invisible stitch And now finally, I will be giving the normal chain stitch on this flower designing just to elaborate this pattern. So here also I will be using single strand of zari thread and giving the normal chain stitch here. I'm almost at the end. The final look out would look like that. This designing will really look simple but yet stylish and the final look out of this blouse would look like this. Hope sharing of this idea is useful to all. If you like it, please hit the like icon to support my efforts. Also do share this video in your community or circles may be useful to others. Thank you so much for watching friends. Meet you all with another interesting video. Subscribe to Amazing Women's World channel. Stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Please do also hit the bell icon to receive future notifications whenever I upload without missing it. Until then, see you.